Hello and welcome to another edition of the South Carolina Business Review. This is Mike Switzer. As the economic shutdown slash reopening has occurred and will continue to occur in phases, many companies are still in a state of shock and struggling to identify and grab a hold of these transitional stages in order to prepare to successfully exit this crisis. Dr. Donald J. Shepker is an assistant professor of strategic management and the research director in the Center for Executive Succession at the Darlamore School of Business at the University of South Carolina in Columbia, and this is part three in our weekly series entitled Managerial Insights, Supporting Businesses During an Uncertain Time, which will be followed up with a live Zoom conference on this topic this coming Monday, May the 11th at 3 p.m. And Dr. Shepker joins us now by phone from his office in Columbia. DJ, welcome to the program. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be with you today. Now, let's talk about these stages that companies might be transitioning to right now as they respond to this current crisis. Sure. So it started with companies, particularly through early to mid-March, going through an an initial response where they had to really figure out what were going to be the remote work protocols, policies and practices for interacting with customers, determining what was essential versus non-essential services, Once we made it past the first two weeks or so, companies have started transitioning into what I refer to as a strategic crisis response, where they've had to figure out, rather than fighting the daily fires and trying to figure out exactly how business was going to continue, they've started to identify short-term operational changes that can deliver value, hopefully in accordance with their strategic priorities. This has been the stage where many have gone through, say, furloughs, or salary reductions, other operational responses. Where we're heading in the future, though, is really the recovery and moving forward stage, where companies are transitioning from today, which is really that strategic crisis response, needs to start figuring out how to develop a strategic plan for the next 6, 12, and probably even 18 months at this point. During this assemblage of this strategic plan, then, going forward, how are they addressing the needs of the various stakeholders in the company. You've got employees, customers, investors, owners, and, of course, society as a whole. A large focus for companies in their initial response was how can we focus on meeting the needs of our employees and how can we meet the needs of helping, doing our part to help society move through this very uncertain time. Part of that as well was thinking about how can we serve our customers But employees for companies, in particular retail companies, have really come first. It's interesting to note that many boards of directors, CEOs, other C-suite executives have focused less on traditionally who many think companies are run for, shareholders or owners, but really focused on those other three stakeholder groups. As we move through these phases, I think you're going to continue to see a very large focus on employee welfare which is maybe one of the more interesting impacts of this crisis, has been a very strong focus on not financial performance, but meeting the needs of other stakeholder groups. And, of course, we are all hoping to exit this crisis in a positive way and in businesses in a way that will be to their advantage. Sure. There are three things I think that businesses can really do to try to maximize their ability to succeed when this is done. The first is to be realistic about timeframes. It will take months before everybody uh, is willing to return to a new normal. And for some, that could be much longer. For, say, travel and tourism, that could take several years in some cases. Uh, The second thing to do is to start thinking through your strategic priorities about where do you want to go in the future and how do we start getting there today? So what are the investments that we can begin making today that are ready to be in place the day that we feel like we're recovered. The third thing to do is to start thinking about new business models and new ways of doing things. If we're the first to react to a new business model, it can allow us to be more successful in the future. Well, DJ, thank you so much for your insight and spending time with us today. We will see you at the Zoom conference on Monday. Thank you, Mike. It was a pleasure talking to you, and I look forward to talking to everybody via Zoom. Dr. Donald J. Shepker is an assistant professor of strategic management and the research director in the Center for Executive Succession at the Darlamore School of Business at USC in Columbia. 
And this is part three in our weekly series entitled Managerial Insights, Supporting Businesses During an Uncertain Time. We will continue this particular conversation on Monday, May the 11th at 3 p.m. with a live Zoom conference. A link to all of the details will be posted at our webpage, SouthCarolinaPublicRadio.org, where you can hear this show again and subscribe to this podcast. With the South Carolina Business Review, this is Mike Switzer. The views expressed on the South Carolina Business Review do not necessarily reflect those of South Carolina Public Radio.